What's going on everybody? Joe here today and I've come here today with two things that I want to accomplish today. Number one, have some Sour Patch Kids. Number two, introduce you to some of the best smells in the East. Stay tuned. The fragrance that I'm here to talk to you about today is from the eastern side of the hemisphere. It is from the House of Les Fleurs du Golf. This is Orient Express. This is a fragrance that was released in 2019. This is, as well as the other fragrances from their house, an extract, their parfum fragrance. I'm really into Asian culture and all of the eastern side of the hemisphere and all of their influence between the food, the shows, the music. So I figured, why not start getting into their fragrances? So I did. Notes on this are going to be very fruity, powdery, woody, fresh. This is a twist on the Orientals. This is almost probably even a Floriental, but with a lot of fruity nuances. They use a lot of lychee. Lychee is a fruit, a really sweet kind of fruit. Not tart, but just sweet. Almost cherry-like. Speaking of cherry, there's cherries in here too. There's a lot of jasmine. Jasmine, woods. Um, it does come off a little powdery, so if you do not like powdery fragrances at all, I'm sorry, but that is probably coming from like the vanilla and woods with the jasmine because there's vanilla in here too there's a good amount of vanilla and there's some sort of like green vibe that i'm getting a little herbally i don't know where it's coming from or what it is but that is what the notes are that i'm getting out of this fragrance it's actually something unique especially for the spring summertime this, it's unique. Projection and longevity. Actually for this, it's kind of hard to gauge because it does sit closer to the skin at about a good four to five, maybe even six inches, half a foot. But that, but the sillage allows it to almost travel and it leaves a trail. It's like an aromatic type of trail that it'll leave. So while it sits closer here and the bubble, the radius isn't far, if you were to start moving or flailing your arms or, you know, just walking around a social setting, you'll end up really filling the room. And it's since it is an extract there parfum, it does kind of end up leaving it like really thick trail. It was about seven to eight hours on my skin for the actual longevity itself. You know, it wasn't anything super crazy, but considering, you know, the realm of a lot of fragrances, seven to eight hours at the price that you pay for this is relatively fair in my opinion. And it did perform well. And at the end of the day, people really enjoyed the scent and the scent is unique. So like I said, you could wear this in the spring, you could wear this in the summer. This is a little bit more feminine than masculine, but men could still pull this off, trust me. This does give me those like Garnier Fruity shampoo vibes. That's kind of what I'm getting out of this. But overall, it's a really good fragrance. Like I said, I, I enjoy it. It's unique for the spring and summer, definitely different from your regular aquatics. It kind of has this like beachy aquatic vibe without it being all salty marine there's like an undertone of it it's not super pronounced you want to think of fragrances that would be similar not as far as smell but just the vibe right something like a uh, coney island from bond number nine like that doesn't necessarily make you think of like the oceans and everything but just when you're there you kind of it has it encapsulates that entire vibe and so this is kind of that you know th th but for the east i'd recommend this for anyone who's at least 
18 and up. If you're a guy, I'd probably maybe say 25 just because you gotta appreciate it more. If you're a girl or a woman, 18, 19, you're good. And I'd recommend this for casual, maybe date. Date if you're a woman, casual night out if you're a guy. Maybe on like a fourth or fifth date. As a guy, you could bring this out, spice it up. Solid fragrance though. Box and presentation, it's gonna come in a rather large box with the gold trim here and down there and the gold label right there. And when you open it, just be careful because this does tend to rattle around. It's not super secured, but this is here. It's secure enough that when in transit, your bottle's not gonna break, but it's not the most secure thing afterwards. So just be careful when you're opening, grab it from the bottom. This is right here. That's your base. There you go. Your bottle, gold cap, um, nothing too crazy. There's a little weight to it though. Les Fleurs du Golf, Orient Express, Golf Flowers, Sprayer, for about $110 USD. That's a great price, it really is. And they're made in France, so you're even getting something from the overseas side, imported here. Very solid. They have this at the bottom. I used to think that it could be that they would stack on top of each other, but after looking, that's not really the case. Like this is too much wiggle room. So it couldn't be that way, but still really solid presentation. So there you have it. There are my thoughts on Orient Express from Les Fleurs du Golf. Have you tried anything from Les Fleurs du Golf? Do you, are you interested in anything else? Um, the next one that I do want to try is that new one. They have a coconut one, Coco Yamin, Yamin. Something along those lines. I really want to get into that one. I also own Baccarat Vanille now from them, which are like their two flagships. But let me know. Introduce me to something else if you've tried anything from the house. Otherwise, let me know in the comments down below your thoughts. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, my name's Joe. I'll see you all later.